What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to episode 28 of our RB Biner Let's Play and well, look at that. We're the champions, 90 points, 4 games remaining and it is all done and dusted. Defensively, not the best in the league, nowhere near the best but 89 goals scored in 34 games is always going to be good and while well, we wrapped up the league with a win against Valencia and Blanchard the I want to say the hometown hero the kid who'd grown up dreaming of playing for his beloved RB Barna but in re in reality this club only formed when he was 15 years old but still he's a supporter of the club and he, he scored the goal that won us it all you can see it on screen now a thing of beauty the fans love him I love him as well the 18 year old and uh, yeah, a 1-0 win uh, followed on from a 2-0 win against Sociedad to secure us the title. But alas, we kind of already knew that was in the bag and that's not why we're here today. We are here today because it is the Champions League semi-final and we're starting off with the first leg today against Liverpool. And of course the second leg will follow shortly. But look at this here. Liverpool favourites to win. We've never... Well, actually, I was going to say we've never met them before. We have met them before. I believe in a pre-season friendly. You can see Declan Rice is suspended. Uh, Kevin, our former man, he's out with a hip injury for a few months. They signed him, of course, for £26 million. He's done quite a good job for £26 million, to be fair. Maybe I shouldn't have sold him, but... We've done okay without him, I think. Um, on our side of things, Lissandro Martinez is still available to be played. But besides that, we are pretty much at full strength for today's game. And well, when it comes to our team, this is the team we're going to go with. Ezekiel Palacios, not fully fit for my liking. His match fitness is still a little off the boil. The rest of the team is pretty much full strength. Perez, of course, coming in for Lissandro Martinez. But Perez is pretty blooming good as far as centre-backs go, especially as far as backup centre-backs go. We're going to go with Nordi at right back, of course. What a first season this guy's had at the club. Really, really solid throughout. You know, he's not been incredible going forward but he's just been always ever present and has very rarely put a foot wrong we've got Reguillon as well who's been great in the Champions League a goal and an assist in seven games um, obviously he's had a few injury worries this year and a few suspensions and not quite the assisting prowess of previous years gone by but he's been very good for us and it's good to have him back in the team that one wide playmaker on the left we've got Denny Suarez one of the big earners here at the club but also one of the players who can really pull the strings six assists in eight Champions League games for him in the midfield we've got Luis you can see here he's just he's pretty tasty isn't he as far as players go of course he is wanted by Liverpool so I'm a little bit wary of the fact we're playing against them hopefully that's not going to play with his head alongside him we've got Hadara who He's a pretty blooming good playmaker. Has recently signed a new deal at the club, a new five-year contract. And, uh, well, with Ezekiel Palacios getting injured, Hadara's just come into the first team and worked an absolute treat for us. Out on the right, we've got Suso, who he, he's just solid, basically. He always puts in a performance, and you can see, just looking at his overall progression, it's been very, very blooming good lately. And, well, up top, we've got Haaland and we've got Koita. Haaland with 26 goals this season. Koita... I mean, just look at this. 35 goals in all competitions. When you look at our team and just the goal scoring, to have three strikers who have scored over 25 goals, I think is pretty solid. I'll let you make up your own mind, but I do feel like the 4-4-2 we have here is pretty good in the current match engine, and well, hopefully it's going to work a treat for us today. But yes, that is our team, pretty much full strength. And let's see if we can get one over on Liverpool in this Champions League semi-final. We're, we've won the Copa del Rey. We've won the league. We're looking for the treble now. You can see their team here. They've got Dembele up front for, uh, up front for them. He is their top goal scorer with 20 goals in all competitions. He's got 11 goals in seven appearances in the Champions League. So be a little bit afraid of that. But the rest of their team looks extremely solid. They've got Anderson at centre-back alongside Van Dijk. And while well, the Dane... Looks like a rather good centre-back option, I'm not going to lie. And they've also got Bruno Fernandes, who's a, a pretty decent playmaker, alongside a largely familiar Liverpool side. Anyway, this is not going to be an easy game. I know it's going to be tough, but we've shown on our night we can score goals for fun. And whilst in a, you know recent Champions League games we've certainly not had our full-strength defence today, we're in a lot better shape than we have been in some of the previous fixtures. So I'm hoping we can keep things tight at the back. Going forward, we're going to look lethal with the likes of Haaland and Koita, who are hopefully going to take their chances 
and where we can stamp our spot in the Champions League final. That is going to be the dream here. Liverpool are the favourites, and I think they're the favourites for a reason. They've struggled domestically in the Premier League. They are fifth. They have played in midweeks. They could be, well, a little fatigued, I want to believe. We did and have been rotating our team quite a lot, as you might have noticed by the fact that Blanchard was the player who ultimately scored the goal in the 1-0 win against Valencia. I was really impressed, actually, that our second string team did as well as they did against Valencia, even if it was a scraped 1-0 win. We'll, we'll hope that our first team can, you know, mimic that kind of just resilient performance. And, well, let's get a few away goals. I think that's got to be the primary concern here. It's always tricky to come to Anfield, but we'll see what we can do here. As Coita's dinked through in Coita ways. Can he finish it? No, he can't. He smashes it straight at Alison Becker, who parries it out for a corner. Now Suso, with the ball whipped into him, comes to Florentino Luis. Suso to whip it in. Back post, headed away by Van Dijk. And I think Haaland was actually offside. And in fact, no, Suso was offside in the corner. Highlight after highlight after highlight to start. I almost want to check we're not watching the full game here. We're not watching the full game. It is on key highlights. Apparently, the whole game has been key so far. As Mo Salah brings the ball forward. Frederick Dembele, top goal scorer, clean for on goal. Oh, Nana, what a save that is. Dembele thinks he's going to score and Onana just says, nah, nah, and makes the save. I've been waiting to do that for far too long. I'm really sorry. But, uh, well, we, need, we still need to deal with the corner here. Maybe I'm going to be punished for my terrible, terrible puns. Onguene gets it out. Onana, just, just get it out in that situation. None of this passing around the back BS. We don't, we don't need that here and now in the Champions League semi-final. If it's in our own box at Anfield, we lump it clear and we get it out like that on Gwene. That's what I want to see. But yeah, there's been tons of highlights to start the game. We're going to have another here. Seven minutes in. Hadara heads it away, but only as far as Bruno Fernandes. Can we can we stop with the highlights? Suso, against his former club, of course, winning the ball and dinking it to Coita. He switches the play across to Denis Suarez. And while runners on ahead, what can we do here? Ball dinked over to Haaland. Gets on it. What a touch that is. Smashes it. It's palmed away almost into the path of Coita. But Liverpool able to get it away to safety. And, well, we have another highlight. This could end up being the longest match you've ever seen in Football Manager because we've not even played the first 10 minutes left yet. And I think we've watched more than half of the game play out. It is still nil-nil, though. Liverpool in possession, bringing it forward. Nordy nods it down, but straight to Mane's toes, who whips it in and Salah at the back post, unsurprisingly, finishes it. I feel like as soon as you give Salah time and space there, you've got to... Prepare for the worst. And, well, I don't know if Nordy could have done a little bit better here. When this ball's in, it's a weak header away, isn't it? In reality, I think he could have got a bit more on it. It falls straight to Mane. And he pushes us with a superb ball into the box. And Salah was just lingering at the back post like a bad smell to get it over the line. And, well, get it over the line he did. We will look to respond immediately. Nordy, can you make amends? Coiter keeps it in. Of course he does. It falls to Haaland, who has to score that. Although Coita was offside, so it, it wouldn't have counted anyway. But I'm surprised Coita kept that in play. That looked like it was destined to go out, but he turned on his just... I'm trying to think what I'd compare him to. He's like Sonic the Hedgehog. There's times where he just runs and there's just a trail left behind and then suddenly he's touching the ball. Not that I've ever seen Sonic play football, but I mean, I'm trying to think now. Sonic wasn't in Mario All-Star Strikers, was he? Or whatever. Was it Mario Strikers Charged? Does anyone know the game I'm on about? There was like a Wii version, but there was also a GameCube version, I want to say. If you know the game I'm talking about, please confirm its existence. We've had fewer shots, but we have had the better of the opportunities. Not that the scoreline necessarily reflects that. And while we need to stop them breaking through like that, Anana with another huge stop for us in goal. Liverpool looking slightly more lethal, slightly more deadly. Let's go for a little shouty shout of demand more. We need to defend this set piece. And, well, Wijnaldum lets us off the hook by heading it over. A throw in in their half. Can we get it to the danger men? And by danger men, I just mean Coyter or Haaland. Give it to their feet in the box. They've always got a chance. Suso, wide on the right. Tries to Rabona it in. It falls to Coyter. Can we discuss the fact that Suso tried to Rabona a shot that did not need to be rabona there? Completely unnecessary, and I absolutely love it. All right, Suso, what can you do? 
Plays it back and down the line to Koita, who is going to cut inside. Dances past Anderson. The game freezes for a second. It falls to Haaland, who heads over. Game, why did you Why did you freeze? Stop, stop it, football manager. I can't handle the tension normally. If you start freezing during the highlights, that's going to kill me. What just happened? What do you say? How do I commentate that? It's his 36th of the season. We score a fair few of these where we force errors out the back. I feel like we have the pacey players to do it. There was a goal like this against Real Madrid, but... I mean, what do you say? Good good work by Haaland to win it as a pressing forward, I guess, and it falls to Coita. Superb. We'll take it. It's 1-1. I, I, I'm rarely lost for words. I'm lost for words there. We do need to defend here, though. You know, 1-1 at half-time would be superb, although Hadara steals it. And, well, he could find green, green grass to run into. It's a 3v2 at the back. He goes on his own, and, well, for a second I thought he was going to score. Alisson tips it over the bar. We are looking so good right now. Perez to Hadara. I feel like this is the point that's part of a highlight. Why am, why am I even considering getting excited by it? I don't know. I don't know. 1-1 one, one at the break. I mean, Anana's made four saves. He's been very, very good in goal for us, to be honest. Would like to see a little bit more from the rest of the team in the second half as the ball's whipped in and while well, Jordan Henderson free header, his first goal of the season and it's against us. That was a questionable cartwheel as well. He defied the laws of physics to slide around there. I mean, it's a pretty good header to be fair by Henderson, but it's not ideal as far as we're concerned. We've, we've really not shown up particularly well, particularly defensively. Both our fullbacks are having absolute disasters of matches. Suso, what a ball that is. What a ball that is. Oh, my word. That is an insane pass. The curl on it. The way it held up. Harlan got on the end of it, but unfortunately, he couldn't really score what was probably the best chance we've had all game. Good save by Allison as well, in all honesty. An hour gone. I probably should look to make some subs here. Haaland's not been good. I'm going to bring in Abel Ruiz. And, well, our fullbacks have been awful. So let's take off for a Gion. And oh, I don't I don't have a left back on the bench because I'm an idiot. Hmm. Do I want to play Gedson Fernandez at right back? You know what? I don't. I want to play Estevez at right back. Keep faith in the youngsters. Suso's had a pretty poor game. So we'll bring in Mendes as well, I think. A triple change here. Cue us to immediately get an injury. I'm emotionally prepared for it. Liverpool making changes of their own, bringing in Keita uh, for Wijnaldum. And, well, Joe Gomez now for Anderson, who picked up an injury. Ten minutes left. Would 2-1 be the worst result in the world for the first leg? Probably not. We'd still very much be in the tie. Got to be wary of the fact that Liverpool are on the attack here. And it's Alexander-Arnold with it. Crosses it in. Estevez, fresh off the bench, heads it to Mendes, who's fresh off the bench. And, well, he heads it towards the bench. And... Well, to cater the, uh, the former sub. The ball pinged forward. Alexander-Arnold with way too much pace and space. So he gets on the end of that. Mane now with a header, and that is just... Not not ideal is probably the, the most polite way to phrase it. And the ball switched over here. Danny Suarez has to track his man better than that. He gets to Alexander-Arnold, but lets him get the ball in. And then it's just the Mane Salah link-up play that punished us for the first goal. And it's going to punish us again for the second. 3-1 really isn't good, but I don't want to chance anything. I can't really afford to go more attacking or more defensive, I feel like. I feel like at this point, holding on for 3-1 is probably the best result. But if we go defensive, we're just going to invite pressure onto ourselves. And we have created and carved out opportunities on the break. Robertson here bringing forward the ball now with Keita. Don't let him pull it back. Onana. Oh. This is because I said the Onana pun, isn't it? What kind of goal is that to concede? Am I allowed to be upset about that one? Am I allowed to be upset? I think I am. It's 4-1. And I don't I don't know how to commentate that goal. There's two goals this game and I don't know what to say. It's 
that is slightly disastrous going into the second leg. I've got a million and one thoughts flying through my mind. But the lingering one is, we have seriously balls that up in the second half. And it's not going to be easy to come back from that. But we've got to try. We, we've got to see what we can do. Right, we've got Liverpool in a week. We've got to mentally reset. We've got a La Liga game in between. I don't give a hoot about it. You don't give a hoot about it. We're not owls. I don't know where this is going. Let's just get to the next game. I need to go and emotionally reset. We'll be back in just a moment. This could be the last significant game of this season. And I'm worried it could be not a particularly pretty one against Liverpool here. That first leg defeat is really not the wind out of me. I'm not looking forward to this game at home against them. You can see they are the favourites to win. Um, we are not looking 100% by any means. Lissandro Martinez, not fully fit to play. Jedson Fernandez, I can't even have him on the bench. He's struggling far too much, so we'll bring in Mariba. But yeah, this is going to be tricky. 4-1 down after the first leg. I'm still thinking about the future of this series as well in terms of do we do another season after this, given how we won the league and given the fact I'm quite keen in the not-too-distant future to start my Tier 10 non-league save in England, where we start right at the very bottom in literally a park. Um, but let's focus on this here and now. I don't want to end this series and end this season, a season that's been so good by getting embarrassed by Liverpool across two legs. <laughs> Declan Rice just scores that header. Oh, God. That's annoying. That's very annoying. A free header inside the six yard box. We now need four goals. And if they score another, we need six goals. Wait, no. Yeah, we would need six goals because we'd have to win outright and not just on. Well, they'd have better away goals, basically. Going into this game, I was sat thinking we just can't concede. That's the most important thing not to concede. And we've only bloody gone and done it inside the first minute. Oh, dear. When it rains, it pours. It's actually raining outside my flat flat now. I don't know if you can hear the rain on the window in the background. It's almost poetic. The miserable English winter reflecting my mood on the inside. I mean, this maybe the sun can come out. Denis Suarez, what, he's just kicked it at Haaland. It's a disaster by all accounts, folks. Maybe the chance isn't over yet. Maybe there's something to come. Hadara, Rigion. Can he get it into the middle? He can. Haaland. I don't know if he meant to head that. It kind of looked like it just hit him on the head. But I think we'll take it. It's 1-1 on the night. It's 5-2 on aggregate. Mission impossible becomes mission improbable. He did, he did mean to head it, to be fair. The keepers dived completely the wrong way. But yeah, great header. We're back in it. I'm going to do a shouty shout of demand more. It's 5-2 on the night. We need three more goals. And well, Haaland, get your second of the game, son. Becca, this time with a slightly better save, to be fair. Diving down to his right, Alisson, and denying what was a great clear-cut chance. But, well, we're creating opportunities at the very least. And we know what we can do at home. People will have seen us and what we did against Real Madrid previously. And while Haaland's breaking through here, he has an effort. It was a half-decent opportunity for us, but the keeper did hold on to it well. Our players are apparently looking anxious. I want to shout at them. Stop getting anxious, boys. You've got to relax. I realise the thing to stop someone being anxious isn't just to shout at them. Stop being anxious. That's, that's not the way to do it. That's not how you manage people. You demand more from them, and that's what we've done. Koita, can he get it in the middle? He lays it off to Suso. Back with Koita, who hits it. Oh, my word. Do, dare I dream? Dare I dream? It's his 37th of the year. It's 2-1 on the night. It's 5-3 on aggregate. We need two more goals minimum. If they score a goal, we need four more. So expect lots of goals is basically what I'm saying. It'll probably just end 2-1 now and be really anticlimactic, but... What a finish that is. Suso with the ball inside. Another before half time. And Liverpool are rocked. Our players are still looking anxious. I'm just going to demand more from them again. Look at that. Immediately we have a corner. Suso crossing in. Who's there? Back post. It was Haaland. It's cleared away only as far as Hadara. 
who keeps it alive for us here. Perez, Reguillon, lumps it forward. Can't quite pick out Sousa. Now we've got to be wary of being hit on the break. Mane brings it forward. on Gwene just denies him. Just says, nah, you're not having it, son. And while we look to build from the back again here, on Gwene to Nordi. What can he do, the Frenchman? He brings it forward. Look at him go. Switches it to Florentino Luiz. Now with Denis Suarez, who dinks it. Harlan, get on the end of that. Get on the end of that. I'm getting excited. Oh, my word. It's 3-1. It's 5-4. Dare we dream. I'm, I'm daring to. Mission improbable has become mission possible. Erling. Erling, Erling, Erling. This has been a game to turn up big. Of course, if they score one, suddenly we need a fair few more goals. So we can't get too carried away just yet. Although Salah coming inside is scary. Two players lunge in. Fortunately, none of them made contact with him. And it's 3-1 it's at the break. Show me something else in the second half. Oh gosh, Onana's looking stressed, right? Let's just tell him we're pretty switched off, right? If he makes mistakes, it's all on me. A minute into the second half, we're in there half. Nordy, get it in the mixer. He crosses it. It's the, what has happened? What has, I mean, I'm not even complaining about the last goal that we got against them. Alexander-Arnold, I don't know what he's done. I don't. The camera didn't really follow the action very well there. What did happen here? The pressure has got to them. They have capitulated. Nordy crosses it in. He's kicked it out the, he's kicked it out the back of Van Dijk and it's gone back and hit Alexander-Arnold and gone in. It's ping-pong in their box, and I don't even care. It's 5-5 five, five on aggregate. It is anyone's game. As a reminder, if Liverpool score one, we need two. Because of how things are laid out. And while Firmino, he's bringing it forward. Can Onana stop him? Of course he can. He's not switched off by my terrible team talk. He's got his head in the game. He's been watching High School Musical with that basketball song where they talk about getting your head in the game. That's what he did at half-time. Where am I going with this? We've got a set piece to deal with. Mo Salah whips it in. I mean, look at him. He's just dived like blooming Superman. And then he's used his kicking to get it wide. That's an insane kick to Suarez. Look at him go. Go on, Dennis Suarez. Hit it. Have a go. Have a go. Oh, I thought it was in. I thought we were scoring. It's, it's only 10 minutes into the half and my mind's gone. I want to do another shout. Let me do another shout, please. He's nervous. Don't get nervous. Look at that bad body language for Liverpool. Right. Florentino Luiz not had the craziest of games. I'm going to bring in the youngster Mariba. I'm going to give him a chance on the big stage. I don't like how badly our centre-backs have been playing. But I can't... I don't really have a plan B there, so... I mean, I could bring on an unfit Lissandro Martinez. If it stays as it is, we're going to extra time, which I would have bitten your hand off for previously going into this fixture there's three minutes of added time there's no minutes of added time it's going to extra time I believe away goals still do count don't let it slip oh gosh the irony of doing that as a talk at Liverpool well not at Liverpool against Liverpool we're in extra time my head's gone folks to be frank I should probably be making some more subs who would I sub... Who's tired? Suarez is tired. Su Suso, you're exhausted. Bring in Mendes. And you know what? I don't want to take off Suarez. He's been man of the match so far. Hadara's not been great. I'm going to bring in Palacios. We've got a lot of players on bookings here. I want to do another shout, but we can't do one until the second half of extra time, which begins now. Nothing happened in that half. Demand more again. There's 12 minutes left. We have a highlight. Dare we dream. Palacios and Mariba on off the bench. Palacios. In fact, it was Mariba who put the ball in. I take it back. That was awful. They try and play it out the back. We try and force an error out of them. They get it to Salah. Of course they do. Reguillon, don't foul him. You're on a yellow. Be sensible. Be That's, that's, sen oh, that's not sensible. Oh, my word. Breathe. Breathe, everyone. Relax. This is fine. On Gwene to Nordi. There's another highlight. He dinks it forward. Koita, please, please. He's kicked it straight at Alison Becker, who rolls it out. What's happening? We've got to throw in. It means nothing. 
Do I go very attacking for the last five minutes? I'm do I've done it. Why have I done that? Is that stupid? No, nothing's happened. We go to penalties. I don't have good penalty takers. Okay, well, we've got... To be fair, we've got, like, five penalty takers. And Mariba and Palacios, who we brought on, are actually quite good at penalties. That didn't play into my decision. I don't want to watch this shootout. I have to, though. I am scared. Haaland, please score. He's kicked it straight down the middle. Now, the skin that I've got doesn't correctly track penalties, so we're going to have to follow it. It's zero for one for us, and now Liverpool are one for one. This is not good. Palacios, please. We fought so hard to get back in this game. Don't miss your penalty as well. Please. He scores. So we're one for two. They're one for one. It's now Salah. We need Onana to come up big in this. We paid £60 million for him. Is it wrong to expect something big from him here? No, it's not. He turned Salah's penalty round the post, and what a penalty it was. Now it's on the youngster Mariba. He's not even 20 years old, bless him. What can he do? Can he become a hero? Of course he can. He smashes it down the middle. We've scored two out of three. Can they go two for three as well? It's Dembele to take it. Can he all square it? He can. So two penalties left for both teams, and it's 2-2 two, two in the shootout from three. Denny Suarez. This is the bit where we get to our not-so-great penalty takers. What can you do, Denny? How has that gone in? I, I'm not complaining, but that probably doesn't deserve to go in. And now it's Fabinho. Anada, £60 million goalkeeper. What can you do? What can you do? He saves it! Let's go! Let's go! If Reguillon scores, we're in the Champions League final. Against all the odds, 5-1 down after Declan Rice scored in the second minute. Can the captain send us through? It all comes down to this. No! No! <laughs> Oh, Liverpool now score playing. If they score this, it goes to sudden death. I can't take it. He's missed it. He's missed a penalty to take us to the final. The captain. Oh, the highlights have slowed down. So Mane still has to score this, and then we go to sudden death. Anana, can you do it for a third time, mate? Can you make a third save? I want to believe he can. He goes the right way and misses it. And now it's just a straight shootout. Now it is just sudden death. Nordy, our right back, he can't take penalties. Can he take one today? He can't. He misses it. Oh, if they score now, I'm going to be so heartbroken. Please, Onana. It's Declan Rice to take it. Englishmen are rubbish at penalties. It's Onana. He's dressed in yellow like a banana. Can he, can he save it and say Nana? Or are we about to say goodbye to our hopes of the Champions League? Please, oh Nana, please. He can't stop it. All of that fight back accounts for absolutely nothing. As Reguillon misses. The penalty to take us through. I feel like crying. All of that, <laughs> to, to go out like that, that's gutting. The board might be delighted, but I am anything but. To fight back like that, having lost the first leg so comprehensively, and it all came down to sudden death penalties, Reguillon misses a penalty. He thinks he deserves a new contract. I hate to break it to you, mate. Y you don't. <laughs> oh, I want to cry. Right. Next episode, we're going to do an end-of-season episode. It's going to have the game against Ibar. We're going to reflect on the season, but between then and now, I need to work out what's happening with this series. 
I know a lot of you guys are really, really into it, and I'm enjoying it as well. But having won the league, which was kind of always the aim with this save game, and having already won the Champions League with a big team in Liverpool, like we did right at the beginning of the year, part of me feels like maybe this season is now a good point to go, you know what, we've got to grips with Football Manager. We're going into 2020. Let's start the Tier 10 database, unemployed, working our way up the league. We might jump teams, we might fall in love with one club. And let's just go on an adventure, a tribute masking on just the most hardcore FM save you've ever seen and just have an adventure in England. I'd be very curious to know what you would like to see if you're someone watching this now. Um, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments. We are still going to have one last episode at the very least for this season. But yeah, um, if you've got to the end of the video, clearly you're someone who enjoys the series. Your opinion does matter to me a lot. If I do move on to a new save game, I will make this save available for download as well. I promise you that much. But I just feel like it would have been a dream to win the Champions League. It's a shame it's not happened. But going into the new year, knowing that I do want to do this super lower league English save, it just feels like a pretty good time to start that now. You know, beginning with the new year. And do a save that a lot of people have been asking for for a very long time. Let me know what you think. I'm heartbroken by that result, but that's what Football Manager does to you, unfortunately. Next time we'll be back for the game against Ibar. I hope to see you guys for that. Thank you for watching, as always. I'm going to go lay down and cry. And, uh, well, from me, Jack, I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out. <laughs>